start at part two. Uh, if you're not a user of PixInsight, and I understand Image Plus also has uh, pixel math, uh, you can combine your Starnet uh, target or nebula or galaxy uh, with the stars that uh, you've separated with Starnet by using Photoshop. So let's take a look at that and we'll show you how to do that. I'm opening up Photoshop. It'll take me a second and share my screen. And you should be seeing their infamous flash pop up. Okay. And uh, let me change windows here real quick. I'm going to open two files. I'm going to first open, and it matters not which one you open first, but I'm going to open um, the Dolphin Nebula. And of course the stars have been removed. I use Starnet to do that. And now I will open the RGB stars. And the plan is to combine these two images and return them to uh, a, finish, a finished uh, state. So let's do that. Now, <clears throat> uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add either the stars to the target layer or the target to the stars layer. It matters not uh, how you do that, but let's uh, make active this window here by putting it in the view. Let's go up to select and select all. And you will have a selection box that uh, encompasses the uh, star image, the RGB stars, and we want to copy this so we'll go to edit, copy. Now we want to make active the nebula or the target image and we're going to go up now to edit and we're going to paste the star layer on top of the nebula layer. So if you kind of look over here to the right you're going to see that we have the stars and we have the nebula and we're going to uh, make sure both of these are active. Now, click on this layer and make this active and go up to the blending mode and pull down and go down to lighten and click on lighten. And there you have it. You have now combined your stars with your nebula. There are other modes you can uh, experiment with. Uh, screen mode will reveal, it just uh, brings out more luminosity and uh, you can see some distant stars that didn't show up before, but sometimes they'll show some artifacts in your images and I'm partial to the light mode for the most part. But it's all up to what you like. It's a judgment kind of call. So I hope this helps and uh, see you on the uh, next tutorial or live imaging session. Mm -hmm.